Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Hope all of you are doing very well today. The topic for today's session is SLAs. So in today's session, I'll try to explain you guys uh, what is meant by SLA rule in Pega. SLA is service level agreement and how do we configure SLA? Okay, so let's get started. So let me log in into the Dev Studio. Okay, so first of all, let me try to define a uh, SLA role for you guys. Okay, so in Pega, SLA is the role type and with the help of SLAs, uh, we can configure the timelines by which we want to finish a particular task in Pega. Okay, now this task can be assignment or it can also be a case. Like for example, let's say you have a scenario wherein uh, there is a requirement coming in from the business that you have to finish the end-to-end training case in let's say five business days so if you have any requirement like this and if you're wondering how to implement this in pega so then the answer is using sla rules okay now sla sla rules are instances of class rule obj service level so let me show you that okay so whatever sla rules you create in your application they will be you'll be able to find them under this particular class instances. So for example, if I click on the instances of this class, so you see these are the instances of service level agreement. So this is an important point and all of us should know that SLAs belong to the class rule OBJ service level. Now, where can you see under which category you can find the service level agreement or the SLA rules in Records Explorer? So you can find them under the process category. So if you expand the process category in your records explorer and if you see over here so from here also you can see all the instances of service level agreement or sla rules okay now uh, like i already told you that sla rules will be configured either at the overall case level for example let me open the case type so i have a training case type which i have created already so if i want to configure a case level sla that means that the SLA configurations or the SLA timelines will be applicable to the entire case. Then we call that as a case level SLA. And how do you configure a case level SLA? So you need to open your case type rule, go to the settings tab. And over here you'll find, yeah, this goal and deadline. So when you click on this goal and deadline, so this particular option is to configure SLA rule. Now there are two ways, either if you already have a SLA rule and if you want to use call the rule, then you can select the option existing SLA and you can search for the rule SLA rule that you have created. Okay, so this is one way. Other way is if you select the option as custom SLA. So here itself, you can configure your goal time like goal and then you can give like days, hours, minutes and then how much urgency you want to increase when the goal time reaches. Along with that, you also have a configuration to notify or this is also known as the escalation event so i'll open the sla rule uh, and i'll explain all what what this goal deadline and what are the escalation activities and all but uh, if you want to configure um, case level sla so this is how you do so you can do that from the settings tab and either you can choose an existing sla rule which you have created or you can do a custom sla uh, configuration by defining the timelines over here itself so this is about case level SLA. Now the next type of SLA is assignment level SLA. So if we want to add, let's say we have a requirement that uh, the particular step, let's say select interested training. Okay, so let's say I have a requirement that uh, all the students who have enrolled and they are in this particular step. So there is a, let's say there is a requirement that they need to finish this particular assignment or task in two days. And if they don't do that, in two days, then their enrollment will be automatically cancelled. If I have a requirement like this, so we can do that by using assignment or step level SLA. So how do you add a step level SLA? So you need to click on the step and then here you see on the right, there is a goal and deadline tab. So from here, we can configure the assignment level SLA. So here it says use service level agreement. So again, you have the two options. If you already have a SLA rule that you have created at backend, then you need to select existing SLA. And you need to enter the SLA rule name or if you want to have a custom SLA timelines so you can select the option as custom SLA and you can give your goal uh, like days, hours, minute, urgency, what 
what escalation actions you want to configure and then same like deadline okay so this is how you configure a assignment level sla now there is a third type of sla also available that for that you need to open your case type role you need to go to the stages tab click on any of your primary stage and if you scroll down so under the category automatically launch launch process for every process that you want to call in a stage you can configure the sla so this is known as process level sla so you have seen case level sla assignment level sla and process level sla okay now let us try to configure so this was from the theory perspective theoretical perspective now let us try to configure assignment level sla so uh, let's go with this scenario only like uh, uh, we have a requirement that uh, we want the users or the students to finish this particular step in two days if they don't finish we will perform some escalation activities okay so we will click on this step and let me try to create sla rule so i will choose the option as uh, existing sla and uh, let's create it choose training sla so this is the name of the sla rule that i'm going to create we will create it from here okay so let's check if the class is right the rule set is right and yes create and open okay so this is how a sla rule looks like so under the general tab you have certain configurations that you need to do okay so first of all is the initial urgency so for now initial urgency let's keep it as zero then um you have three sections okay this is the goal section this is the deadline section and this is the past deadline section under each of these three sections you can configure the time for example i want my goal time to be um let's say um two minutes for now because we will be testing it in real time it won't be two minutes okay but for testing purpose let me configure it as two minutes and um, then here in this particular place uh, let's say your goal time has expired and your assignment is not submitted or completed then you have an option to increase the urgency okay now what is urgency urgency is a number between 0 and uh, 100 and it uh, the higher the urgency the more um, priority that case is given okay uh, when we use get next work and all in so that get next work get next work is another feature that pega provides us okay to pull the highly prioritized cases in the uh, task okay so this particular urgency uh, let's say initially it is zero and when the goal time expired i want the urgency to increase by 20 okay and then um let's say the deadline time let's keep it as three minutes okay one important point to notice the goal and deadline both of them starts um together the calculation of both the timers start together okay so let's say when the assignment is ready at um um 10 30 a.m so from 10 30 a.m 10 the goal time will expire at 10 32 and the deadline time will expire at 10 33 okay so this is also one very important point to understand that how and when the deadline time and the goal line goal time calculation or the timer start so both of them starts together however past deadline time timer starts only after um deadline has expired so let's take a uh, past deadline as one minute so what it means is let's say that my assignment was ready at 10 30 a.m so in this scenario the goal time will expire at 10 32 a.m the deadline time will expire at 10 33 a.m and the past deadline time will expire at 10 34 a.m so one minute after the deadline okay another thing is uh, this checkbox what is this checkbox only calculate using business days so you need to select this checkbox when you have a requirement to include only working days or business days and exclude the non-working days like saturdays sundays or any public holidays if you have a requirement like that to skip the non-working days and do the calculations of the goal deadline and past deadline only using business days then you select this checkbox okay now another thing is i was talking about escalation action so what is escalation action so let's say that the goal time of two minutes has expired and my task is not completed yet yet so one thing is definitely i can increase the urgency of my case apart from that there is also an option to configure the escalation action like what actions you want uh, the system to perform if your goal time is expired and your condition is not met 
So there are multiple options that Pega gives us. By default, for example, you can call a data transform, call a flow, advance the flow, or you can notify or send emails to various parties, work parties in the system, or you can transfer the case to somebody else, or you can call an activity and do some custom um, processing in your activity. So these are the different options, escalation options that we can configure. Okay. Usually, uh, we'll be sending emails. For example, if my um, assignment is not done within the configured timeline, so let's say I want to notify a manager of the work basket in which the assignment is lying idle so that that person can uh, you know um, offline he can tell the folks to finish the work at a more uh, faster pace or he can transfer the work or share the workload to different team members who have bandwidth based on that so these are real life uh, use cases when escalation actions will come into picture okay Okay, so let me uh, configure the goal as two winners, deadline as three winners. Let's increase the urgency again by 10 on deadline and pass deadline. Pass deadline is again something uh, which occurs recurrently. Like it will occur at um, here, you, you can configure how many times you want the pass deadline to happen. For example, I want this pass deadline event to be configured three times. Okay, let's say that is the requirement. So what will happen is let's stick the original use case where assignment was ready at 10 30 a.m so goal time expires at 10 32 deadline time expires at 10 33 for the first time the past deadline will occur at 10 34 so, uh, the urgency will increase the escalation event will be triggered then again at 10 35 the past deadline will again occur again the urgency will increase by 10 and the whatever escalation action you configure here right that will fire and since we have configured the number of times we want the pass deadline as three, so three times at an interval of one minute each, this pass deadline configurations will trigger. So this is how pass deadline configuration work on the scenario. Okay, so let me save this. For now, I'm not giving any actions. I'm just showing you um, how SLA timer and the urgency works. Okay, so let me also save my case type doing. Okay, let's try to test it. So let me create the case. So this is my first step. Uh, let me submit it. Okay, let's go to the review hardness. Okay, so if you see here, due three minutes from now. What this means is, three minutes is the deadline time, right? That is what we configured. So, after three minutes, this particular deadline will fire and whatever urgency updates need to happen, that will happen. So, let's wait and let's see. If you see now, it has reduced to two minutes. Okay, so the timer is clicking and back in. You can see here last updated by agent. So this is the service level agreement agent that has updated our case. Now let's Okay. So if you see here case number T12003. Okay. First one. And uh, the flow name is this. This is the assigned dash work list table. If you see here, the urgency of assignment is 30. So how did it become 30? So 20 plus 10, 30. Okay, so this is how assignment level SNA works. I hope uh, this was a useful information. And uh, if you want me to make a further detailed video on SNA, rules or uh, you want any specific use case uh, that you want help in uh, do post your questions as comment i'll try to cover that in my upcoming video thank you so much for listening in have a nice day bye